purpose that as husband and wife give themselves to each other, they should remain united in love as Christ is united to his church. Marriage is the giving of each to the other and the receiving of each from the other with respect for one another. And this ideal, of course, is only possible as we're strengthened and guided by the Lord, ready to pay attention to God's purpose for our lives as taught by Christ. Marriage and family life is a challenge that requires prayer and support of family and friends and all of us here today. And I'm glad to welcome Tim and Carla's family and I'm asking uh, the family members, will you give your blessing to Tim and Carla? Will you support them with your love, encourage them in their family life with Scott and Carla? Will we have this one? We will. Thank you. With that blessing, I want to say to Tim and Carla that your, vow, your vows, marriage vows, join you for life in a relationship so intimate that it promises a love that's true and mature. But this love requires that you recommit your lives to one another. And you recommit yourselves freely and without, without reserve and determined to continue to live together considerately with self-giving love. So, Tim and Carla, I have to ask if either of you knows any reason why you might not go to be married, you must now declare it. For the vows that you are about to take are to be made before God, who is the judge of all, and who knows all the secrets of our hearts. So, Tim, repeat after me, I do solemnly declare, I do solemnly declare that I know, not I know not of any lawful reason, why I, Timothy James Moot, may not be joined in marriage to Carla Jean Patrick. Now Carla, I do solemnly declare that I do not know of any lawful reason why I, Carla Jean Patrick, may not be joined in marriage to Timothy James Moot. So Tim, will you have Carla to be your wife? Will you love her, comfort her, honour and protect her, forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? And Carla, will you, will you have Tim to be your husband? Will you love him and comfort him and honour him and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? Now, Tim, these are the vows that Tim and Carl have written themselves for this day. Tim, repeat after me the words that you know to know well. <laughs> this color wrote to do it. <laughs> but Tim and Carl have agreed to all this, and we're thankful for that. Okay, uh, Tim, I, I join you in marriage. Repeat after me. To make you my wife for the rest of my days. I will listen when you speak. I will care for you if you get sick. I will comfort you when you cry. I will join your laughter with my own. I will cherish, protect, and respect you. Protect and respect you. And always see the good in you. And will delight in the person you have become. Whatever lies ahead, good or bad, I will always be your soft place to fall. Your love will be my only love. I will give my love to no other. With joy and with certainty, in the presence of God, I call upon these persons here present to witness that I, Timothy James Wood, to take you, Carla Jean Patrickin, to be my lawful wife, to be faithful to you, as long as we both shall be. Good. Now, Carla, I join you in marriage. To make you my husband. I 
For the rest of my days. For the rest of my days. I will listen when you speak. I will listen when you speak. <laughs> <laughs> I will care for you if you get sick. I will comfort you when you cry. I will, will join your laughter with my own. <coughs> I will cherish and respect you. And always see the good in you. I will delight in the person you are becoming. Whatever lies ahead, good or bad, I will always be your soft place to fall. <coughs> Your love will be my only love. I will give my love to no one. With joy and with certainty, in the presence of God, I call upon these persons, here present to witness, that I call a dream Patrick King, to take you, Timothy James Moot, to be my lawful husband. Faithful to you alone, as long as we both share it. Thank you, Colin. Now, may I have the ring? This ring is a symbol of love which is complete and precious and endless. May God help you to make your love complete and endless. Thank you. 